Hey, today we're making a Kurdish street food snack with broad beans and sumac. And before we get started, I want to say welcome and thank you for getting this channel to yet another milestone. If you haven't already, please make sure you click that subscribe button. I post new Kurdish recipes every week. Now let's get started with the ingredients we're going to need. Here I have some dry broad beans. You can use canned ones too. Stay tuned to know how and when to use those instead. Some salt to taste, cumin, sumac, lemon, and some vegetable oil. Start by washing your beans and soak them in room temp water overnight. I ended up soaking mine for 24 hours and I changed the water at the halfway mark. You can soak them for shorter time, just remember you'll need to boil them a bit longer later on. When the beans are done soaking, strain them and add them to a large pot. Pour some room temp water to cover the beans well. You want your water level to be about 2-3 to three centimeters above your beans. Add a pinch of cumin, turn your stove on high heat, cover your pot and bring it up to a boil. Once you've reached the boil, turn the heat down to medium and simmer the beans for one to one and a half hours or until your beans are soft and tender. After about an hour and a half, the beans were done and this is what they looked like. If you are using canned beans, just wash them thoroughly and follow along from this step on. Heat up your pan, add about a tablespoon of oil to it, add your cooked and strained beans to your pan Stir everything around so that they're all coated with the oil. Add your salt to taste. And if you are using canned beans, they're most likely already salted. So give it a taste to see if you need any additional salt. Add your sumac. This gives it a delicious tart flavor. And if you don't have any, you really need to get your hands on some. But if you're craving this snack and you really can go out and get some, just add more lemon juice on your end. But really, sumac is a must in your kitchen. Now mix it all again until the lemon juice is absorbed and your pan becomes dry. Your street food snack is ready to be eaten. If you didn't snack on all of them while they were still in the pan, go ahead and plate them and sprinkle some more sumac on top because why not? Now let's give it a taste. And yes, I did go in for another one. They were absolutely delicious. That's all for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you on the next one.